Welcome to Creature Features. Livingston and Vincent are running a bit late today, but they should be joining us shortly. In the meantime, the producers have asked me to introduce tonight's episode. Tonight, we have a very special movie in store for you, Lady Frankenstein. Made in Italy in 1971, this film is sure to frighten everyone with its poor special effects and miserably executed overdubs. But it's a fun movie and worth watching. And joining us for tonight's movie will be our special guest, actress and dancer Faye Fatal. You've probably seen Faye on Creepy Coffee Movie Time and Circus of Chaos. She'll give us her insights into tonight's film and tell us all about working on those shows. So fix yourself some popcorn, make yourself comfortable, and get ready to enjoy another fabulous episode of Creature Features. How was that? <laughs> Stay tuned! The Russian sleep experiment took the lives of five test subjects, enemies of the state. It was a week-long human conditioning experiment that went horribly wrong. You can find out what happened to these human guinea pigs, as well as many other conspiracies, urban legends, and tales of terror at www.scarystorytime.com. Available on iTunes, YouTube, Alexa, Kindle, and other distribution streams of podcasts and videos. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. watching online videos like this one. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Hi, I'm Linda Blair. 
And if you want to be scared, stay tuned on North Bay Television, coming up. Welcome back to the show. We are with a very special guest, Miss Faye Fatal. You know, I've been trying to get you on the show forever. You finally got me. I know, she's so busy. And you know, we run a bit late tonight, Livingston and I. You know, I, I, I asked him to take me shopping down in the village. We went and saw a new haberdashery. I'm gonna show you the new oh. things I bought. She's, you know, she's a fashion expert. I am, I but am. Thank you for helping Tangela do the intro. Such a pleasure. You know, I didn't think we'd pull that off and you two figured it out. Absolutely. She's not very chatty these days. No. So you're with us here tonight. Yes, I am. And we are also with Lady Frankenstein. I know, and one of my favorites. It. One of my favorites, You've yes. seen it, I've never seen it. <gasps> I've seen oh. like three seconds of it, and oh. I said, you know, they're not speaking English, are they? They're speaking Italian, and it's been overdubbed. It has. We show a lot of those. Uh, spaghetti horror, yes. Is it spaghetti horror? Spaghetti no, horror. Fact Rat told me it was uh, called a giallo. That's what they call them. I, I don't argue with the Fact like, Rat. No, I, I wouldn't either. But I it, don't it argue with It sounds like him. gelato. Oh, I could go for some of that. You know? Or, or Prosecco. Like it's served with a topping of blood. What about Prosecco. Prosecco sounds nice. Well, we could get in on some but of that. But you would put that on bread or with cheese and crackers, right? You drink Prosecco. Oh, you do. You See, drink what Prosecco. what I know. So this is why she's here tonight, because she knows a lot, and I know nothing, almost. So what do you say, before we get into the big introduction of mm -hmm. you and what you've done, <laughs> let's stop this film, and when we come back, we're going to show a clip from your show and talk about you, and forget about me, we're going to talk about her. And uh, we'll take it from there. Sounds right? like a plan. All right. You stay right. with us. Mm -hmm. And you guys especially stay with us because if you change your channel, it's probably going to be something dumb. Overwrite that one. 
Best I could do this week. People just never die when it suits you. <laughs> do they, Doctor? Oh, beg your pardon, uh, Baron. You don't have to count it. It's all there. Always is, always is. See you next week. Lynch, yeah. I may need you sooner than next week. Something very special this time. Oh, I like that. Very special. Yeah. Has a ring of money to it, eh? I want a corpse dead no longer than six hours. Two hundred. No, five hundred. Three hundred. Done. Let's say I'm a patron of science. But I can't promise. Results, not promises. Uh. I don't understand you're trusting him so much. Money, Charles, is a miracle drug for people like Lynch. dream. Or perhaps, perhaps he shall be a nightmare. Would it matter? Not to me, not if I can give him life. That's worth anything, anything. Including your own life? Even that. To succeed in creating life is the ultimate achievement. To hesitate, to fear, to doubt now would make everything I've ever done. Pointless, empty. This, this is my life. But to create life, should man leave that to God? Here on earth, man is God. <laughs> Go to bed, Charles. Tell you'll arrive in the morning, you'll want to look your best. Good night. Good night. I thought I would at least deserve a hello. I'm sorry, Tanya. I'm very happy to see you. Your father and I were always happy to see you. Uh, here, let me help you. Thank you. How lovely you look. <laughs> Thomas! Thomas, come here. Uh, Thomas? <laughs> would you uh, please take Mademoiselle's luggage? Uh, take the luggage uh, inside. Uh, luggage? Inside, eh? Mm -hmm. Tanya. Mm -hmm. Say. Man. Your father is still dressing. He worked rather late last night. As usual. Is he still experimenting with animal transplants? Well, you know how he is. He's been at it for 20 years. He'll be at it for another 20, but uh, tell me about the university. Well, except for my studies, it was rather boring. But I didn't go there to socialize. Aren't you pleased? I'm like my father, stubborn. When I want something, I get it. And I did. First of my class, I'm now a licensed surgeon. Congratulations, oh. doctor. Father! Father! Oh, so Bye, nice to see girl. you. little <laughs> girl. <laughs> Is that the way for a licensed surgeon to behave? This one does. <laughs> Guests of the show stay at the Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa in Santa Rosa.
Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. Bosswick, you're watching North Bay TV. Buy my underwear. Awesome. Huh? Well, Miss Fay, I... This lady Frankenstein, she travels in class, doesn't she? She does. That first outfit of hers mm -hmm. that we are going to see, this blue and black taffeta number, has a cape. Oh, it's phenomenal. So you would wear something like this? Oh, sign me up. Where can I get it? You know, I think th there's a career you're missing out on, and mm. that would be like fashion consultant to the gothic people. I think that's a fine idea. I'll start with you. Well, there's not much you could change with me. We seem to share a color palette, though. You know, everything goes good with black. It does. I noticed that. Very slimming. Even humor. Very goes slimming. Well with black. Mm. So enough about the film. Oh. Let's talk about you. Oh. You know, I, I, I know most most of the people watching know who you are. They've yes. seen you. I mean, if if you like, turn on the TV a little bit sooner than the 11 p.m. we're on, mm -hmm. then you're going to see Faye. You're going to see me on Circus of Chaos. But before that, yes, you were on. Creepy coffee movie time. I sure was. Seasons nine and ten. Nine and ten. How many yeah. were there? How many seasons? Right. Ten. Ten. So you were like, you were like the new girl. I was. Right. I was. Right. And you, you brought an element of style. I, I tried. Class. I tried. There was a lot of style on that set already. All right. Well, that show is not on anymore. Mm. So let's show. It a lives quick, on in infamy. In infamy. But let's show a quick clip. Yes. So people can see. Okay. So let's roll that clip. Saturday. On creepy coffee movie time. <laughs> A funny girl named Liz Grant. That was very good. Also, proving that anything is edible. Oh, this is going to happen. Bellini puke show, everybody. Yeah. And the movie. Blood Beast Terror. With Peter Cushing. Creepy coffee movie time. Saturday at 11 on Coffee TV. You know, that show looked like it was so much fun to do. That show was an absolute blast to I do. Mean, did you have, like, scripts? Did you, like, have, Heck like, no. notes? Heck outline? no. Outline? God, no. It was just, like... For everyone in a room. Just make it happen. That was wonderful. Well, you know, that, that, shows, that shows skill on both your and everyone else's part because you had to improvise. Oh, right? that's a skill? Skill? Ooh. That is skill to be able to improvise. Mm, yeah. I don't even know if it was improvising. I think it was just doing what came natural. Well, it looks like it was a fun show. I, I it, wish was it was fun. Still on. It was fun. I'll you know, give you that. Can you imagine, like, Saturday night with all these three shows? That would Ten be... seasons of Saturday night. Ten seasons. Oh, I know. Goodness. Currently was... available through our friends at NovemberFire.com. Oh, no, well, we, that's Streffon, right? That's Streffon Taylor. We love Streffon. We you know, love Streffon. He, he, he graced that chair once. <laughs> he did. He Such did. an honor. <laughs> In fact, I think he soiled it a bit. No, he's, he, he's, he was so clean. In my dress? He, really? No, he was like, he was like Niles on Frasier. He wiped it with a handkerchief oh, before he, would. he sat down. He so, would. No. He's classy right. like that. All right. So you did that. Yes. And you're also doing Circus of Chaos. Yes. And we're going to talk about that in the next segment. But right now we're going to get back to the film. Any fashion things we should be watching for coming up? <sighs> well, I, I love the men's ass gots. Have you noticed ascots. all the ascots, the little napkin things they I have going on? I know an ascot is. Somebody told, suggested that I should wear one yes. on the show, and I thought it'd be too much. Uh, yeah? I, I, you know, let's be bold. Let's give it a shot. Well, I don't have it at the moment. I'd have to go fetch it from a trunk. Oh. All right. We can just get you a napkin. And call it an ascot. Why not? A nap scot. Why not? I like that plan. All Living right. dangerously. I'm going to consider that as we watch the next segment of Lady Frankenstein. So don't go away. You don't go away. And let's watch some more of the film. Why another hundred? This order is very delicate. There are certain people that have to be paid in advance. What people? <laughs> well, Baron, you know, I can't tell you. Professional ethics. Don't speak to me of ethics. If you want what you want, 
it will cost you another hundred. The way I see it, Baron, you don't have any choice. I'll have to get it for you. Take your time and don't worry. I won't sit down. I wouldn't want to damage this uh, wonderful furniture. I was looking for my father. Uh, would that be Dr. Marshall? It would not. Well, I never thought the Baron had it in him. But Dr. Marshall would. Hmm. No, not on his best night. A drink, eh? Much too early. Never too early. For anything. My dear sir, you are an obnoxious man. Extremely vulgar. And I'm certain that whatever you are thinking is merely fantasy on your part. I would say that you spend too much time alone in your fantasies. Be careful. It will soften your brain far quicker than whiskey. How can somebody so lovely be such a bitch? It depends on the company I'm with. I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry. I didn't know you had a visitor. Mr. Lynch? Yes? I will see you out. Always a pleasure to talk to a lady. Good day, lady. Father? I said I was sorry. I heard you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Two hundred now. Yeah. Yeah. Two hundred on delivery. Yeah. When will it be? Very soon. When? The hanging Jack Morgan day after tomorrow. So? So he's your man. shaking hands with Morgan in the hell. Oh, I'll save my other hand to you, Captain. You don't have much time, Lynch. You're sure to make a mistake one day. And that's the day I'll own you. And it won't be just jail for you. You're too clever for that. It's the hanging one. That's what you want, and I'll see you get what you want. It's the least I can do. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Oh, I will. Yeah? I will. What are you doing here? I was on my way to town. I saw the people. Why? What's going on? Something I'd rather you not see. A hanging. I've never seen a hanging. Nor will you see this one. Now, Father, I may be a woman, but I am also a doctor. Death is nothing new to me. This is not death, Tanya. This is legalized murder. Maybe she should stay to see the difference. Hmm. Maybe she should. Thank you, Charles. Don't thank him yet. Hey, 
Are you ready, Jack? And what if I made any difference? Just a short step from here. Why didn't I ever cut your throat? Ready. Requiem eterna, dona e domine, et lux perpetua lucea te. Amen. Tanya knows about the animals. But how? I don't know. She asked me why you still had them, and I didn't. What are we going to do? Not now. You mustn't find out what. Oh! Hey, up, Baron. Good work, Lynch. Good work. <clears throat> Thank you, Charles. Go on, Turner. Earn your money. Yes, sir, Baron. I really like doing business with you. It's clean and it's quiet. Was it difficult? As difficult as drinking a bottle of whiskey. And you can see that's not very difficult. hoping you wouldn't do this. So this is why you no longer use the animals. Human transplants. Tanya, will you please leave? But I can help you. You don't understand. I do, Father. I do. What are you going to do with the brain? Tanya, please. treating me like a child. I'm a doctor, a surgeon. I even think like you do, I... No. Not impossible, Tanya. But the heart, the brain, you have to keep them alive. Yes, we've done it before. Inside another human body? We don't need a human body. But you are going to put Morgan's heart and brain into that creature? Tanya, no more questions. But, Father... I don't want you to get involved. If anything should go wrong, the law would hold you equally responsible. And I don't want that to happen. Soon I'll tell you everything. Please be patient. I'll try.
Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome to the Flamingo Hotel in Northern California's beautiful Sonoma County wine country. The hotel was built in 1957 to mirror the image of the original Vegas Flamingo design. It's always been the area's favorite resort because of its amenities and its strong connection to the glamour of Hollywood and Las Vegas. The Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa offers 170 guest rooms. It includes 14 suites and executive king accommodations. From all of us at the Flamingo Hotel, we thank you and look forward to seeing you soon. A single ember from a wildfire can travel over a mile. You can't control where it will land, only what happens before it does. Visit fireadapted.org to learn how to protect your community from wildfires. watching North Bay TV, so stay tuned. Welcome back. Uh, Faye had to step away to wing out her eyeliner, right? It's some makeup professional thing. She's quite good at it. She does her own. It wasn't like she had to use our oh, makeup person. Mm. So, uh, anyways, we're going to do our letters. And uh, what, how are you, Tangela? You know, that was quite a clever trick you did with that introduction. This one, she's trouble. And you got the bat tonight. That's, a, that's an appropriate thing for a Frankenstein film. There's plenty of bats tonight. All right, Mr. Livingston, what have we got from our faithful viewers? Oh, my goodness. This is quite uh, a letter. All right. Hey, Vincent, just thought I'd drop you a note of reassurance that you're not the only one who loves the Guatemalan handshake. See? It's also my favorite movie that you've shown. That makes two of you. Uh, ooh. You know, it's a good film, and it's new. You know, most of the films we show here are quite old, and that one was a new one. Second favorite was Star Wreck, another one that we got complaints on that I liked. And I, I like you, Wayne Smith. Who knew a country with only five and a half million people could produce such a classy satire? Anyway, keep up the good work and try to get a hold of I Married a Monster from Outer Space. We shall certainly do that, Wayne, and thanks for writing. What do we got next? Oh, this one came in the mail, came didn't it? Came with a DVD. Oh, a DVD. Look at this. It's Abbott and Costello meet the creature from the Black Lagoon. I know this. This was uh, not actually a movie. It was a TV show. Well, you want this? Well, let me read the note first, and let's find out what the purpose here is. This is from uh, Irene in uh, Woodacre, California. That's close to Fairfax, right? Nearby. Right. She says, hi, Creature Features. Love your show. Here's a DVD I thought you might like. See you on Saturday nights. Well, that was very kind of you, Irene, and you've certainly made uh, our Tangella happy. So let me know how it is. Maybe we'll watch it, if you can watch it twice. Thanks again, Irene. What have we got left, Livingston? Here we've got uh, Alvin Dretch from Visalia. California, that's down by Los Angeles, right, right? Isn't it close? It's halfway, halfway to. It's on the way there. On the way to Los Angeles. You see it when you drive down the five. There's a sign that says Visalia. He goes, "Hey Vince, I want to like your show, but you are the worst." Well, I bet the other people in Visalia are nicer than Alvin. That stuffed penguin in the background would make a better host than you. Is he talking about you, or is he actually talking about the stuffed penguin? I believe he's talking about the stuffed penguin. Right. I hope you stop sucking so bad soon. Well, Alvin, maybe we'll take you up on your suggestion. 
Anyways, that's it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter, you can email it at uh, this address or you can send it in the post to this address. Doesn't matter to us. We love it either way. Stay with us. We'll be right back with Lady Frankenstein and Faye Fatal. I hope Mr. Morgan's brain is as cooperative. It will be, Charles. And so for the past 20 years, my experiments with animal transplants have been pointed to this week. All the abuses. I have endured my friends. All the accusations against my sanity and worse will be thrown into their sanctimonious faces. Looking for something? There's clouds. I need a storm for my final step, an electrical storm. For only lightning will give the creature life. That's why I haven't transplanted the heart and the brain. Oh, I can keep them alive indefinitely in the laboratory, but once I transplant them, they'll survive only a few hours unless activated by lightning. I want to see how you keep them alive. You shall. You will succeed, Father. I will. I promise you I will. And the medical world will be brought to its knees. I want that so much. To see you realize your dream. Something that no one will ever take away from you. They won't have to. I'll give it to them. Bad.
In the white matter? No, further down, in the gray matter. See, the hypothalamus is damaged. must be repaired. There isn't time. We must make the time. You cannot use a damaged brain. To what extent is the damage perhaps happen to mine? And if it isn't, the hypothalamus is the main center of the automatic nervous system. You may be creating something that cannot function. What good would that be? To give it life and just let it lie there, nothing more? We'll have to take it. What about anger? part of the brain to vital emotions either one in excess could be devastating correct the damage first there isn't time Charles. every minute cuts into the life of that heart 20 years i can't throw away 20 years by minutes <laughs> but think doctor think no instinct instinct changes the world not thought and my instinct tells me to transplant that brain right now if you won't help me i'll do it alone Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. Vincent, this is Tangella, and we just want to remind you we've got a wonderful website. It's at creaturefeatures.tv, and at that location, we've got things like previous episodes, our merchandise, we've got photographs of the entire gang, including Tangella and her hideous friend. So be sure to come see our site. You'll love it.
watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. And welcome back to the show. We are still watching Lady Frankenstein with Miss Faye Patel. Hey. It's so nice to have you on the show it's finally. So a pleasure to be here. You know, Such she's a nice the pleasure. perfect adornment for that chair. Oh. <laughs> I mean, look. And and you know, your shoes, I want to compliment your shoes. Oh, They're thank incredible. You. And thank I, I you. like the way you have like the stocking, the fishnet. Uh, zippers stocking. and straps. Zippers and straps. And straps. I mean, here's a woman Best who knows of both how, worlds. how to entertain. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. And the jewelry, it's amazing. You know, I, I think every time I see you, you have that spider ring. Yes. That is like your symbol. It's kind of a trademark, yes. No, I think it's it's like your spirit animal. Oh, right? I, I love it. Thank yeah. you. No, you should have like a special. You know, what, what strikes me as interesting what? is for a woman with your fashion taste, mm -hmm. you're not completely covered in tattoos. I am not. I have and very I low pain wonderful. tolerance. No, I think that's, is, is that all it is? I cried at my last tetanus shot. So if you did not have this pain tolerance, intolerance, you would have tattoos? Possibly. 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 No, you know, I think you made a fine decision, pain oh, okay. or not. I, I mean, you know, tattoos, it's, it's like they're so permanent. I know, mm -hmm. I change my mind so often. I've got two, but I, I shall never show them on this program. If I wanted to change my tattoos as often as I change my hair color, oh, forget about Maybe it. Maybe in the future they'll have electronic tattoos. Oh. It'll be like an app. We gotta work on that. On your phone. We have to work on that. I'd like a giant spider on my back, mm -hmm. but it's gotta fit this size because mm -hmm. my bikini straps go. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't say that, you would. <laughs> All right, well, enough <laughs> with my silliness. So this film, yes. um, they're starting to build a monster. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got some nice fashion interest from you mm -hmm. on that last clip. There is some amazing fashion. I, um, by the end of the movie, I believe our heroine will have changed her clothes approximately 14 times. She's a Frankenstein. How could she be a heroine? She's the heroine of tonight's movie. She's the antagonist, isn't she? Well, Ooh. then who's the hero? Well, I don't know. You never watched this movie. You've people. never watched this movie. All right, I'm going to trust you. You've never watched this movie. I know. Who's watched this movie? Frankenstein never like ends it well, right? He he always ends up being like burned and just trust me on. Enjoy her 14 outfits. Enjoy right, her 14 right. fabulous costume changes. All right, I, I shall. I mm -hmm. shall. But let's talk about you. Okay. All right. So in the last segment, we yeah. spoke about your work on Creepy Coffee Movie Time. That we saw is correct. A clip of that in her work mm -hmm. but now you are doing circus of chaos i love circus of chaos so you know, do I. And we've you're you're guest number three from that show we've we've had cousin you're just dave. snapping us right up we've had cousin dave mm -hmm. and we've had webberly mm -hmm. in fact right mm -hmm. and now we have faye fatale so how'd you get signed up with that it's just sort of like a i, a I was job just, shift it was just a job shift into uh, a different part of the studio they were like, you know, she was only on for two years, so we want to make we sure... We're give that girl another chance. Not another chance. It was like she was never fully exploited in oh. the first thing, is mm -hmm. what I'm thinking. Mm. All right, well, should, we, should we show a clip? Absolutely. Let's show a clip from right. Circus of Chaos. Check it out. <laughs> you guys can't. Oh, my God. What, um... <laughs> hey, what, what are you guys doing? Hey, we're having a time here. We're having here. You are Jeez. having a moment. What you got? It's like a restaurant. Go away, cousin Dave. We're busy. Ah. What oh. is this? Is this a reptilian? This is... is this like a? Well, that was uh, quite impressive. You know <laughs> what I noticed is the photography is a bit better mm -hmm. on this show. I mean, yeah. Maybe new technology is possibly. All it is. Right, I don't know. Right. No. Well, you know, cousin Dave, he runs a tight ship. He does. I, I don't know. No, that's, that's what he says. No. No. All right. All right. Well, what do you say we get back to Lady Frankenstein? Absolutely. All right. Back to Lady Frankenstein. Stay with us.
Charles, everything will be fine. Bands will be done. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. The Russian sleep experiment took the lives of five test subjects, enemies of the state. It was a week-long human conditioning experiment that went horribly wrong. You can find out what happened to these human guinea pigs, as well as many other conspiracies, urban legends, and tales of terror at www.scarystorytime.com. Available on iTunes, YouTube, Alexa, Kindle, and other distribution streams of podcasts and videos.
Some moms travel miles for a present, but Cash's mom traveled the country for her child's life. To same Jude. Yep. Cash was diagnosed in California with a rare cancer. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital tailored a special treatment just for him. Our research helps save kids everywhere. Want to do lunch? Well, someone is feeling a lot better. Go to stjude.org or shop wherever you see the St. Jude logo. Hey, we're Quiet Riot here at the House of Rock in Santa Rosa, and you're watching North Bay TV, so stay tuned. Guests of the show stay at the Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa in Santa Rosa. So, you know, this part of the film mm -hmm. is like one of my favorite parts where all the thunder and lightning and... Have you noticed that when she gets out of bed, how perfect her hair and makeup is? You know, I noticed that in most films. I get out of bed first thing in the morning, I look like a lost member of the Kiss Army. Oh, I like that. That's not a bad look. It's, it's kind of your look a little. You know, I, I, I like Kiss. I, I met Gene Simmons once. Really? And, How'd you know, that go? Well, he's, he's rather grumpy. Really? Uh, you know, he, uh, it's like he does not like to do rock and roll. Hmm. And I, I, can, I can appreciate that. What did you do? about reacting to that or just in general why did you make gene simmons mad oh no i did not make him mad you he made just, gene simmons mad you know i think i could i think you did you know i, I, I don't did. think he likes british people oh <gasps> no. the scandal no 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 he, he like put his nose up in the air he's like oh tea time and i'm like oh is it? <laughs> and he was like joking oh yeah I can't believe i that. don't know My so God. on this film <laughs> yes we've got Dr. Frankenstein, mm -hmm. and we've got his daughter, mm -hmm. Tanya. 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 I mean, how does that work out? Russian name? Is Russian her other name? sister, you know, Stephanie and Tiffany? It's and Tanya. Oy. Have we established what year this is? This is, this is like, happening? this is days of yore. Well, Olden days. Right. Well, I mean, we've got carriages and right. lamplight. So 1850? Possibly. Yeah. That sounds right. So what was the relationship between Russia and Germany at that time? I didn't, I didn't come prepared for that. All right. I just watched the movie. No, it's historical. I came prepared with the history of the movie. No, but it, this whole thing with naming Tonya. Her name's Tonya. Yeah, I know. Of all things. We can agree that it's ridiculous. Hey, Livingston, what's a good name for a German lass in the 1800s? I would say Victoria. 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 No. Oh. It, no, it'd it, be it like Ingrid or something like this. That's Swedish. Ingrid? That's Swedish. Ingrid? Yes. Swedish? All right. How about Helga? Still very Nordic? Norwegian. That's mm, still very Norwegian. All right. All right. Yeah. So uh, enough about German names. Mm. I, what I want to know is how you got that first gig on <laughs> Creepy Coffee Movie Time. I mean, was it like in Craigslist or something? Oh, I should have been so lucky. They picked me up at a con. They picked you up at a con. They picked me up at a con. Like literally lifted you. Yeah, I don't weigh very much. Oh, and was Tiny it like a caveman one. maneuver where they just- I'm like a cave girl. I mean, it, it just suits oh. the whole atmosphere. Yes. It's all making sense to me It now. all comes together so neatly. No, I it's, know. it's logical. Yes. And it, it, there's a method to the madness. It, well, that's giving them too much credit. That's maybe true. No. All right, speaking of madness. Shall we get back to Lady Frankenstein? Absolutely. All right. All right. All right. You All guys right. ready? You guys ready? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Mm -hmm. Animal organs, I believe. Yes, of course. My father has been experimenting in animal transplants. Very interesting. You saw this robber, a big man, you say. Yes, he would have to be a very big man. Big enough to... Uh, yeah. oh, what did he steal? Nothing, as far as I can tell. I haven't had time to check everything. My father must have surprised him. Uh, I would think it was your father who was surprised. But uh, what would a, a robber be doing in a laboratory? He wouldn't have known it was a laboratory. 
He must have seen the light and he wanted to investigate. Perhaps. You said he was a very big man. How big would you say? I don't know. I was asleep. At least half a foot taller than you, Captain. <laughs> really? That would make him more than seven feet tall. Are you sure, Dr. Marshall? Well, half a foot then. After all, he was running away when I saw him. I thought you said you saw him with the Baron earlier. Yes, but all that registered in my mind then was this hulk of a man gripping the Baron. Yeah. And then you entered a few moments after this robber killed the Baron. I tried to stop him, but he threw me aside quite easily and I couldn't... And that was the time when you saw him run out? Yes. But you weren't hurt? No, I wasn't. How very fortunate. Well, I won't keep you any longer. I'm sure this has been quite an ordeal for both of you. Oh, uh, by the way, the young man... Uh, Thomas. Thomas. Where was he? He doesn't live here. He comes each morning very early. Thank you. He didn't believe us. Of course he did. He just tried to impress me. You are marvelous, Charles. Thank you. What now? Now we wait. Yes, you do have the taste of a connoisseur. The taste of a man who truly knows what is obscene, vulgar, erotic, and simply grotesque. It's very clever the way everything blends together. How things seem to balance. Not one piece out of place. Not one inch of space wasted. It's truly remarkable. I am impressed. Lynch, you're such an ugly man. Mm. What's wrong, Captain? All your cells empty this morning? Oh, on the contrary. As a matter of fact, some friends of yours were kind enough to spend the night with me. I don't have any friends. Oh, but you do. There's Simon Burke and Harry Morris, and not to mention Jim Turner, and that other fellow, the little one with the hunchback. <laughs> were they drunk? Very. You see, they started a brawl in the tap at the sawmill. You do know the place. Vaguely. But what does four drunks uh, have to do with me, huh? You see, the fight was over which one of them was going to pay for the entire bill, which was quite substantial. Your friends drink, you know. Uh, you still haven't answered my question, Captain. Oh, haven't I? No. Well, let me put it this way. Where do four such men come upon enough money for each of them to be able to pay for himself and the other three? Maybe they earned it. Maybe. But doing what? <clears throat> Simon and Harry, they can't earn much. After all, how many hangings do we have? <laughs> Not enough to suit you, Captain. Lynch, you disappoint me. I don't pass sentence on anyone. I only arrest them. Uh, drinking alone? No, he wasn't. Are you in the mood, Captain? Oh, I... Two of those men work for you. And I can't see you paying anyone enough to buy a decent dinner. Let alone a night's drinking for four men. All right, Captain. I wouldn't. Maybe they found other work. Something that pays a police captain's wages. I'm not laughing, Lynch. Just tell me what kind of work they do for you, since you have no legitimate business. Oh, I know you're a banker of sorts, loaning out money at exorbitant rates of interest. But you're hired help. What? They are collectors. They collect money for me. Yes. I'm sure they do. Well, I'll leave you to your whatever a man like you calls it. The same thing a man like you calls it. One day, Lynch, you're going to tell me the wrong thing at the right time. <laughs> it's useless, Tanya. You won't find the solution there. There isn't one anywhere. I have the solution, Charles. I'm only looking for a way to make it happen. Will you help me? If I can. Will you help me? I cannot commit myself until I know what you consider the solution. Another creature. Tanya, it took your father and me three years to construct the first one. Mine will take less than three weeks. Even if it took three hours, it would be too late. Then there's been another killing. Two. I didn't want to tell you. 
I was in town today. Everyone in the village is speaking about the monster. That is what they call your father's life's work, a monster, and they're right. They are not right. My father was a genius, and his creation will... It will do nothing but kill. You don't understand. Even without the damage to the brain, the creature has the mind of a murderer. It kills for the sake of killing. It must be destroyed, and Harris will destroy it. How can a man destroy it? No, Charles. There's only one solution, to create a second creature. You'll be creating another monster. Not a monster, an executioner. Our creature will kill my father's murderer. No, it's impossible. Even if you found the right brain, your creature, despite the superhuman strength induced by the lightning, it would need a physical body strong enough to support it. Where would you find such a man? And that's my proposition. 500 pounds if you find me the right person. Yeah, well, what makes you think I can? My father told me. It's all written in his diary. He gave you a lot of money in the three years. I don't want money from you. I see. I knew you would. Just for one night. Then I'll find you your man. It won't cost you a thing. It will. I feel nothing but repulsion for you. I don't give a damn how you feel about me. It ain't your feelings I want. Your price is too high. Then go peddle your money elsewhere. I think Captain Harris would find my father's diary very enlightening. <laughs> my selling corpses wouldn't surprise anyone. But your father buying them, now that would give everybody plenty to talk about, eh? Huh? Wouldn't it, miss? No, think about it. No one else can help you. No one. <sighs> After all... What's one night out of your life? I can't kill you. And after, you can take a bath and everything will be brand new again. Mm. I'll kill him. I'll kill him! You need a drink, Charles. I don't see why you're so upset. A man like Lynch cannot be taken seriously. Still, I would kill him for even suggesting that Thank you... Thank you, Charles. I didn't know that you felt so much about my reputation. I'm sorry. Of course you do. You are a gentleman. And so you only think of me as untouchable. You're wrong. Am I? Do you ever think of touching me? Tanya, please. Does it really bother you to know that a man like Lynch desires me? No. Only that he was vulgar enough to reveal it to you. You never really believed in my father's dream. You only stayed because of me. What if I did? Then why didn't you tell me? Because you were afraid. You've always been afraid. You're afraid now. We don't need Lynch. All we need is each other. I found him. Thomas. Thomas? Yes, Thomas. Physically, he's perfect. His body's strong and beautiful. Be honest, wouldn't you like to have such a body? What does that have to do with me? Everything, because you love me. I know you do. But you've never done anything about it. Instead of your love for me giving you strength, you let it melt your spine. Stop. You let it fester inside of you until Stop. all you could do was to look at me with those weak, hurt eyes. With the eyes of an old man. With the eyes of a cripple, a cripple who could never even dream that I could love him. Could you? Could you love me? Yes. If you look like Thomas. <gasps> then love Thomas! I can't love Thomas. He has not your mind. Think of it. Think of me. Think of possessing me. Would you like to have my body bend to you? Would you like to make love to me? Yes. 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 You can. I can make it possible. My brain and my heart in Thomas's body. His heart is as gentle as yours. 
Thomas with your brain, there's a man I could truly love. No. I won't kill Thomas for you. I'm not a murderer. You were ready to kill Lynch. That was different. Murder is murder. Do it, Charles. I'll help you. I'll be your wife. Welcome to the Flamingo Hotel in Northern California's beautiful Sonoma County wine country. The hotel was built in 1957 to mirror the image of the original Vegas Flamingo design. It's always been the area's favorite resort because of its amenities and its strong connection to the glamour of Hollywood and Las Vegas. The Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa offers 170 guest rooms. It includes 14 suites and executive king accommodations. From all of us at the Flamingo Hotel, we thank you and look forward to seeing you soon. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. You said you are extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm going to have to block you. <sighs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked, too. It's popping time! Sutherland from Power Rangers, and you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. Go, go, Power Rangers! Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Don't think of Thomas now. Think of him after. The way he will be.
Lynch is dead. Last night. Killed by the same man who murdered your father. And Lynch wasn't robbed either, Miss Frankenstein. It's Mrs. Marshall now. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. And this man, anyone seen him? Anyone still alive? The young man who was with Sarah Wills, uh, John Masters. And this Mr. Masters, what did he see? He claims it wasn't a man. He said it was a monster. But he was too frightened to satisfy me. However, there's one more witness I would believe. Who is he? Seth Atkins' son. He saw the murderer kill his mother. But the lad's in shock. If and when I'm ever able to talk to him, I'll... That poor boy. Uh, sorry to bother you, uh, Mrs. Marshall. I'll see you out, Captain. Thank you. You know, I've been wondering, Mrs. Marshall, why would you visit Tom Lynch, especially at his place, and at night? The Baron owed him money, and my wife went to pay it back. Wouldn't it have been better to send for him? Really, Captain? A man like Lynch here? Of course. But then I would think Dr. Marshall should have gone, not you. It was my father's business which made it mine. Nobody else's. Quite. What I don't understand is why would your father owe Lynch money? I find your probing thoroughly impertinent. It always is. Thank you again, and good night. Oh, one thing more. You don't believe in monsters, do you? Of course not. I do. Wait till we finish. You're worse than Lynch was. Hey, Jim. Jim. Are you sure Dr. Marshall will want it? Am I sure? Sure, I'm sure. Whatever the Baron was doing with the corpses, Dr. Marshall was helping him. So it must be sure that he's still doing what they were doing. <laughs> He'll thank us good. <laughs> To hell with these facts. He'll thank us good. Money. As long as he pays his good. Come on, this ain't my favorite way to make a, a living. Hey, I ain't gonna... Shh, Jim. Shut up. Listen. I don't hear nothing. I was here early, early, like always. I keep a clean place, you know. I always clean it every morning when I come. I see. Thank I you very to, much, Mr. Stone. I clean it up. Yes, sir. I always try to keep a clean place, a clean place. That's what yes, I keep. Yes, I understand. A nice, quiet place. Thank you very much. Great That'll problems. be all. It doesn't make any sense. It's beginning to make a lot of sense. Get those shovels. Yes, Dig it up. Then dig up every one of them dated within the last two months. Just what do you expect to find, sir? Not a damn thing.
Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. I'm Crazy Boots Martin. And James the Red. At the NorCal Pirates Festival. And you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. <laughs> So, Faye, help me understand this. It, Lady Frankenstein, mm -hmm. the daughter, yes. Tonya, Tanya, is now the Frankenstein doctor N scientist. Yes. She's moved up in the world. Promotion. It had to come at the expense of her father's death, but, you know, women in science need to take whatever opportunities they can get. What do they call the, the, the Department of Science? S STEM? And math? STEM. STEM. STEAM, if you include the arts. Oh. Yeah. Well, that'd Can't be forget nice. the arts. So you think they did this in the 1800s? You know, any, any opportunity for women to advance themselves in science, I'm all for. So this tells me that the Italians were a bit ahead of us, because we, we, American film never had a Lady Frankenstein, right? Not that I'm aware yeah. of. And she seems fairly skilled at this diabolical She's She's like practice. Dr. Quinn medicine woman, but spookier. I like that analogy. I know. It's, it's you know, brings and all together. And she dresses better. I don't, Dr. Quinn had a pretty banging wardrobe. No, but this is more dark and gothic. It, 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 does, it is more like, you know, spectacular, right. dramatic, but for pound for pound, for prairie fashion, Dr. Quinn prairie all the way. Prairie fashion. Dr. Quinn all the way. Somebody needs to open a stall. Oh. It'd be like Forever 21, except it'd be like... Forever, forever. 1865? Right, uh. right. Well, you know, they, they probably were around at the same time, Lady Frankenstein and Dr. Quinn. <gasps> they could have been friends. They could have been. They, I bet they were Separated friends. Separated by a continent. Oh. They could have traded notes. Oh, that would have been adorable. Dr. Quinn could have helped the living and... And then Lady Frankenstein, Lady Frankenstein would have reanimated them. You know, we, we should we should submit a script. Oh, I, I sense a spinoff coming it's on. It's a crossover. Oh. It's a nice thing. I'm so excited. So, uh, real quick, conventions. Yes. I always see you at conventions. I'm always at conventions. I think you love doing conventions. I love doing conventions. What's your favorite convention? I just got home from Silicon Valley Comic Con. We were there as well. I was there with you. Did you meet anyone famous? Let's see here. I saw Katie Sackhoff from a great distance. I have no idea who that is. She was on Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. Which one? The later one. I didn't watch it. Clearly. I saw the old one and I said, they cannot redo this well, fine, they, fine film. They redid it. And she I was on met, it. Who did you meet? I met. I thought we were talking about me, Wally but who did you meet? and Beaver. Okay. I mean, leave it to Beaver. I know. What does that have to do with... They are extremely famous. But what does that have to do with, with geekery? In the, in the UK, if you were a child when that show ran, yeah. that was like they, they were like our role models. That explains so much. No, it, it was nice. We, we all admired the American lifestyle. Hmm. And we, we knew all your mothers had pearls and high heels in the kitchen, and our mothers were... What about your mother? British mothers. Uh. Well, they're wonderful. Oh. But, you know, I mean... Bangers and mash as opposed to, like, you know, <laughs> hot dogs and pizza, beaver. <laughs> right? I mean, imagine. All right. I'm getting the signal. we got to get back to this film. All right. So let's, let's get back it. to this film, and we're going to be closing up the film. Let's right? do it. All let's right. Let's wrap this one up. Climactic climax. We're going to do it. All right. All right. Off we go. Stay with us. May I help you, young lady? Oh, good day, I'm, I'm looking for my brother. Your brother? You must have the Tommy. wrong... Thomas Stack. Ah, he's not here. Have you tried at his home? I went there first. I've not seen him for a few days. Perhaps he's gone on a trip. Tommy? 
Where would he be? He was never out of the county. It's possible. Perhaps my father's death had something to do with it. Oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Yes, Thomas was very fond of him, and his death must have shocked him. Oh, yes, perhaps. I'm really sorry, but I can't help you. I'm sure Tommy will be here soon. Are you living at the inn? I shall be. Ah, oh, fine. I'll tell him. He'll be so happy to see you. Thank you, Miss... Mrs. But... Marshall. I'm so sorry to trouble you, Mrs. Marshall. Oh, no trouble. We're all very fond of your brother. I'm sure you are. Good day. again, but with the fame he was meant to have. Charles. I liked him, Tony. I really did. Think of tonight, Charles. Only of tonight. People are talking. They're saying that Baron Frankenstein is responsible. They're saying that he created it that monster. killed him, remember? But it didn't kill his daughter. What does she have to do with it? Well, you know how people are, Captain, especially when they're scared. Right now, they're so scared they may do anything, just anything. Something real crazy, maybe. To them, the name Frankenstein is six leagues below Satan himself. And they don't care who's wearing it. Come on, John. What's wrong? You can't change your mind now. It's too late, Tanya. I killed Thomas. You've got to make the means justify the end, for my sake. What if I fail? Charles, I... Then you fail. I'd rather give my life to you than to the hangman. Is everything clear? No question. I do not appreciate your intrusions, Captain. I'm trying to find your father's murder, Miss, Mrs. Marshall, and I don't see how that could be an intrusion. Of course you're right. Please forgive me. I've been up all night with my husband. Well, then he's seriously ill. It could be. He's resting now, and after my breakfast, so will I. Have you made any progress, Captain? Not much, but the murderer has. Two more men have been killed, Jim Turner and Bill Jessup. They work for Lynch. Oh, you wouldn't know them. They're not exactly the kind you'd invite to tea.
done. True, Julia, I've seen it. And you think that Tommy is somehow involved with this monster? Well, not in creating it, but I think he found out about it by chance. And Mrs. Marshall? She's part of it, too? Yes, she's lied too many times not to be. And she and Dr. Marshall, they would have to kill Tommy, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they? Maybe not. Who would believe Tommy? I would. You would, too, Paul. Frankenstein estate. Let's go, John. As men tied to the earth, we dream of visiting the stars. stars, we will dream. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. The Russian sleep experiment took the lives of five test subjects, enemies of the state. It was a week-long human conditioning experiment that went horribly wrong. You can find out what happened to these human guinea pigs, as well as many other conspiracies, urban legends, and tales of terror at www.scarystorytime.com. Available on iTunes, YouTube, Alexa, Kindle, and other distribution streams of podcasts and videos.
Oakland at the Kraken Con. You're, You're watching, watching North, North Bay, Bay TV. TV. Stay tuned. Wig will do perfectly. Now, Charles, put your hands like this. When I release the paper, you try to catch it between your hands before it reaches the floor. Oh. But you must look into my eyes. <coughs> Bravo, Charles. <laughs> Reflex is perfect, pulse normal. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> How could I possibly know our storm would come in time? Of course you couldn't. One thing more, Charles. You see that heavy table over there? That one? Go and lift it. Go on, Charles. You must see him, Tanya. He'll just keep on coming back. Come on. Go and see him. Hurry. Go. I must see Dr. Marshall. Impossible. He's still extremely ill. I cannot... I'm not asking your permission. Henry, Mr. Harris, this is a... Yes, it is, Mrs. Marshall. I don't Marshall. report you to your superior. You do that. Please leave my home. Not until I see your husband. Really, you have no right, Captain Harris. My husband is very ill. That's far enough, Captain. I'm sorry, Captain, but my illness is quite contagious. You shouldn't risk coming any closer. I want to speak to you alone. Whatever you have to say, I want my wife to hear it. Very well. I came to warn you about the monster that you and Baron Frankenstein created. I hold you responsible in the deaths of eight people, including the Baron. Of course, you can prove it. If I could, I would be here to arrest you. I know that you are my proof. I want you alive, Doctor. Why should anyone want to kill my husband? Not anyone. Only the monster he helped to create. Of those killed, four were responsible for giving it life. You, Doctor, are the fifth and last. That's absurd, Captain. How could Lynch and those other two... By men... providing your father and your husband with corpses. I don't have to tell you how they were used. <laughs> how else are we to know what you are talking about? Those jars in the laboratory, it won't be difficult to prove they contain human organs and not animal. No, Doctor. You never considered the creature might not appreciate your miracle. That's why he killed the Baron, the three other men. That's why he must kill you. Why didn't he kill Charles when he killed my father? Because your husband wasn't in the laboratory at the time. This is the most extraordinary fable I've ever heard. You really disappoint me, Captain. A robber killed the Baron. As for those other two pyramids of integrity, anyone could have had sufficient reason to kill them. Perhaps it's your incompetence that's led your imagination awry. I suggest you take a look. Very well. Day. I've warned you. Remember, lies can't keep you alive, Doctor. But I can. Your concern is a great comfort to me. Good night, Captain. I don't know what you've done with Thomas, but I'll find out. And when I... We must get away tonight, Charles. No, Tanya. But, darling, Harris and his men will find the monster. They'll destroy it. They don't know how. I do. Every available man, Peter. I want this place surrounded. And make sure the men tell no one, especially their wives. Now hurry. Yes, sir.
It'll find me. Tonight. Tonight it will be here. Charles. You know that no matter which of us survives, you still win? You do know. You've always no. known. Oh. 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 Captain Harris. See if he's dead. Just unconscious. All right, let him go. Let's go.
quick, Captain. Get him out of here. Get him out. All right, let's go. Lady Frankenstein. I mean, that was a rather erotic ending for. It was hot. A horror film. It was hot. There was there was actual fire. It was so hot. That makes sense. A fire you, set by the village people. Well, do you think that's like how they came up with the hot term for? Probably not. No. No. Probably not. But do you think that's where they came up with the name for village people? That would make sense. I mean, I I think the village people, the group, need more torches and pitchforks to round out the image. You know, this movie would have ended quite well if they had broken into YMCA. It would have been a much happier ending. It would have been. It would have been really festive. What did you think of it, Tangela? She didn't like this film. Mm. Yeah. She's she's actually quite picky. Really? Yeah. Okay. We, we tried to get her to pick films, and she she wants like these these. She she wanted like uh, Kubrick films. Oh, she loves Stanley Kubrick that'll be, films. That'll be the Tangela and Faye show. No, but you know they won't give them to us. We can make all sorts of things happen. Well, you, they oh she <laughs> she's got a plan. Pretty face. She's got a pretty plan. face. Well, if you guys could do it, I would love to show his films. But <laughs> uh, you know he's dead. You know he is dead. It's I did know thing. that. No more Kubrick films. Nope. It's going to be a sad day, mm. sad day going forward. Mm. Speaking of going forward, what do you got going on next, Miss Faye? Well, in about a month, I'm going to be at South City Comic Con. I love that convention. So do I. The venue, Will I see you there? The, um, I don't know. We've not been officially invited oh, yet. Goodness. We always get these last minute things. And I think what happens is it's when Shatner cancels. <gasps> they call us up. And he say, does that. We've got a table for you. He's notorious for doing that. Such a mm, diva. Yeah. <sighs> Last year she couldn't come. Oh, she was busy. She's you know she's got goats. She has goats. And she has to deal with. I them. hope you can come this she's year. She's got a sweetheart. bunch of baby goats. I hope you can come this year. Uh, allegedly, we've got a problem. Male goat, I think. Oh. We can get that thing fixed. Oh. So you're going to be doing the convention. Yes. And uh, that's uh, part of the creepy coffee thing. Is it part of? I will be with November Fire, oh, Streffen Taylor. Oh, Streffen. And we will be selling some of the coffee merchandise that we have there we are Which putting includes. the all 10 seasons very slowly out on the dvd ten so you can seasons. own the magic right there in your own home how many how many episodes would 10 seasons be <sighs> it was over 100 i want to say 121 maybe that's all for 10 years we only filmed 12 episodes per season so do the math oh my goodness do the stem well, I've got to talk to management here and mm. see what's going on. They've got us working every single week. I'm sorry. I, I mean, you just pulled me in for this do. one week. I don't know what you do. This poor thing needs a vacation. Mm. I need a vacation. I need a vacation. All right. Well, how can we learn more about you and the stuff you do? Oh, well, you can follow me on Instagram. Instagram. Instagram is at Faye X Fatal. So spell that for me slowly. At. At. Faye. F-A-Y-E. F-A-Y-E. X. 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 Right. Fatal. F A T A L E. L E. Got that? I got it. You should too. All right. Well, Faye, you've been an absolutely incredible guest. One of the most knowledgeable guests I've ever had. And <laughs> quite an excellent. And at least one of the best dressed. Brains and beauty. I know. Got it all. I know. Well, hopefully we can have you on again. I'd love it. And maybe we'll see you at uh, South City. Comic Con. I right? look forward to it. We'll definitely see you on mm -hmm. Instagram. Uh, and again, thank you for coming, love. Thank you. All right. And as far as you guys go, thanks for staying up late with us. You know, you could be doing something better like sleeping or out partying with your friends. But you stayed with us and we love you for that. So hopefully you'll come back next week and, and we won't have a better guest, but maybe we'll have a better movie, but maybe we'll have neither. You never know. Thanks for staying. So, Faye. Hmm. I'm getting a bit peckish, and I'm thinking, do you want to go downtown and get some food? I feel nothing but repulsion for you. Well, I'm not asking you out on a date. I think we're going to go get tacos with Tangela. Oh, I love tacos! Tacos!